It's not exactly uncommon to find clones, rip-offs and all-out asset flips on the Steam store, in fact Jim Sterling makes half his YouTube channel pointing out just that. However, it's a bit more rarer that we see it not only on console, but also actually being promoted by people like Sony. Now this took place with a game called Soul Brain Night of Darkness, which seamlessly, shamelessly steals both art and music from other games and sources without permission, and it was highlighted several times by the PlayStation YouTube account. A gameplay trailer back in February, again posted on the official Sony channel, has half a million views. So what's the issue with Soul Brain, I hear you ask? Well, the concern immediately begins on their PlayStation Store page. The icon appears to use art from an uncredited DeviantArt account. The main protagonist's armour is something fairly similar to a heavy armour set available to the Elin race in Terra, which of course the MMO came out in 2011. However, while these are concerning, the real gem is the game's trailer which is featured front and centre on the store page. Now this particular trailer seems to lift the score directly from the wonderful indie game Ori and the Blind Forest and the track they've used is Restoring the Light Facing the Dark by the composer Gareth Coker. It was even enough to get the Ori and the Blind Forest director Thomas Mahler to comment on NeoGAF and basically said quote whoa they stole our music from Ori and the Blind Forest. Now he didn't really have much to say other than that to say that they are working with their publisher to resolve the situation. Now there are also similarities to even bigger games than that, none other than Skyrim. The shield featured in the game is a fairly similar shield to one in Skyrim, the Dragon Scale shield. So you have several instances of theft and, well, just theft really. I was trying to find another word for it, but no, nope, theft is the right word. As I said, you've got the elf, which is pretty much entirely ripped off from a Deviant Art page. You have the armor, which is very similar to the one from Terra, the shield from Skyrim, and of course the music, which has definitely been ripped off from Ori and the Blind Forest. So, somehow, one of these you know, con artists, I guess you could say, made its way onto the PS4. Now, of course, all PS4 games go through a compliance pro process in which they are played and checked by a group of quality assurance testers. And you might wonder, well, surely they would have noticed it, but I have a feeling that what those guys are mostly looking for is, does this game work properly? Is it playable? How's the frame rate? Are there any crashes? Is there anything in here that shouldn't be in here? That sort of thing. They probably aren't looking, hey, just, unless it's like literally a carbon copy of like Mario or something, they're probably not going to notice that it's stolen assets unless it's really, really, really blatant about it. And this is pretty damn blatant, but obviously not blatant enough for Sony to notice because not only did they put it on the PS4, they heavily promoted it. And this does, of course, have deeper concerns for the PlayStation Store that other games that have stolen assets or sometimes even just all out acid flips like we see sometimes on Steam might start creeping their way more and more onto the PlayStation Store or perhaps this will be a bit of a slap in the face and a wake up call for Sony. Perhaps this will even lead to more protections for developers, I know I'm just skyballing now, I'm just dreaming the dream but uh, one can only hope right? <laughs> You know, the PlayStation Store and the Xbox One Store are kind of like a, an example of what Steam could be, a proper curation, and obviously this is not really helping that argument, you know, saying, hey Valve, we should be like these guys, oh wait, they also have a, a game that stole assets, never mind. <laughs> have a feeling that uh, this won't be promoted for much longer and may even be removed from the PlayStation Store. So yeah, yeesh. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.